Today on the channel, Super 7 Ultimates G.I. Joe Series 1, Cobra Commander! The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, I don't know if I've been this excited in quite some time, as I have literally been waiting since I was 5 years old for G.I. Joe figures that actually looked like the G.I. Joe cartoon characters. Well, the time is up, the time is now, just like a young John Cena is today, we've got the Super 7 Ultimate Series 1 Cobra Commander. But for all your G.I. Joe needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. And of course, anything over $59 does ship free. And these Joes, they are up on Entertainment Earth right now. What are you waiting for? Get after them. I guess I know what you're waiting for. You're waiting for me to do this review first. That makes a lot of sense. But we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, these have taken quite some time. If we do we pre-order these like two years ago? There was a delay at the factory. There were some issues. But like I said, the time is up. It's finally here. Everybody hates delays. Super 7 hates delays, I am sure. But the time is now. I'm so excited, so jazzed, so pumped up to check these out. And we're going to dive in and fingers crossed everything goes well because this really could be. As much as I love the classified series, the G.I. Joe cartoon is my bread and butter at the end of the day. So it's a really cool collector of G.I. Joe and all things G.I. Joe to have two separate lines. You get the classified series with the odes to the past but odes to the future. And then you got the straight up cartoon releases of Super 7. It is a magical time for G.I. Joe fans. You throw Valiverse in the mix with some similar style figures. It really is a renaissance, a golden age for army action figures. And there's a lot of companies with Hasbro, Valiverse, and Super 7 leading the charge. But let's get after it here. Of course, we do get our cardboard shipper box for these. We've seen these before. We know them. We love them. Always hang on to these. Off to the side, a gentle, a gentle. See you later. Now we get down to the main event. We got Cobra Commander. Everybody knows Cobra Commander. One of the big villains of the 80s, of course. And now we get him represented in Series 1. Makes a lot of sense. You get him and Duke, the yin and yang. I think that works out. You get a little army builder in a Cobra Bat. And then Snake Eyes, a perennial favorite. So a very solid Series 1. And then Series 2 works really good. I love what Super 7 did. It's like the couple's relationship wave with Lady J and Flint. Destro and Baroness, and those should be here in the next month or so. Fingers crossed on that one. So, all coming up G.I. Joe right now, but there it is. Very cool packaging. Reminds me of the old G.I. Joe color combination for Cobra. What were those little flight gear, the kind of like kites they would fly on? Reminds me of that same color pattern there. Beautiful Cobra insignia. Cobra Commander down there on like the file, the dog tag, I guess you would call that right there. On the side, what's this say? Uh, it just has a little numbers on the side, nothing too major. Uh, and then on the side right there, looking really, really good. And then, of course, the back. Look at that. Look at that. Some more of that. So nothing too crazy, but it is the slip case we are used to with our G.I. Joe figures by now. Of course, off to the side. See you later. And there it is. There's old Cobra Commander in all of his glory. Look at that. A regal version of Cobra Commander. And I remember back being a little kid playing and seeing him wearing this cape in the movie. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this version of Cobra Commander. And now we're officially getting it. We got close with a little bit of exclusives. We'll talk about those later in this video. But we're finally getting a supreme Cobra Commander from back in the day. All the cool accessories as well. Classic G.I. Joe logo. A lot going on. On the back, we got a little images from the cartoon. And we got a big old file card right there. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will put up a picture. You can pause the video, check it out if you want to. File name, classified, primary military specialist, intelligence, secondary, ordinance, experimental weaponry, birthplace, classified, grade, commander-in-chief. Cobra Commander is hatred and evil personified, corrupt, a man without scruples, Probably the most dangerous man alive. Wow, look at that. That's some, that's some accolades right there for old Cobra Commander. Unfortunately, I do have a loose weapon in here. Good thing I'm opening this up, but it's a, a little shaky inside there, but that's all right. 
we'll get it out but let's see what's going on and once again we got the taped up flaps usually the flaps here are not taped uh, but we've been noticing that with the Power Rangers. Now we're seeing it here. It could be new for Super 7 or it could be just a different factory they're using. But either way, uh, a little bit extra protection, I guess, with some tape. Pull this out here. Love that G.I. Joe Starburst. If that doesn't remind you of the old G.I. Joe figures, I don't know what does. But love that Starburst background there. Very cool packaging. Absolutely love it. But the figure is what it's about at the end of the day. And we got two plastic prisons. I'll put that weapon back in there. We get extra hands, we get the little uh, binoculars, we get a big old weapon there for him. And then we get Cobra Commander with even more hands, soft good cape, extra head, snake. Uh, he's got a staff, more weapons. Man, oh man, there is a lot to like right here. Okay, let me take this offline, let me get everything out of the package. We'll be back talking Super 7 Ultimate Series 1 Cobra Commander. All right, we've got Cobra Commander out of the package. A lot of tape holding all this stuff down, which makes a lot of sense. You need to hold it down. And sometimes we have the twist ties with Super 7. Not in this case. No twist ties across the board. So fairly easy to get out. Just takes a little bit of time. But we have a ton of accessories here. But man, oh man, this figure is something else. And I'm going to try not to be too biased with my childhood love. My first love in action figures, as I've said many times on the channel, is the G.I. Joe brand. And of course, the G.I. Joe cartoon was such a big part of my childhood who are we fooling it's a big part right now so to get cartoon representation i'm really geeking out here i'm really geeking out but i'm really gonna enjoy these figures i have a feeling so let's dive in though let's start it off with the accessories let's start off with all the hands and we get a ton of hands here a ton of hands choose your own hand adventure and it is gonna be tough to figure this one out with the different looks we can make on cobra commander but we do get a black fisted hand black uh, gloves on cobra commander across the board no skin showing he never had skin showing and less when he turned into a snake in the movie of course then his scales were showing we know that but then we do get a little gripping hand here this can hold his uh, staff right there his snake staff so we do have that we get a little uh, trigger finger here and we have a trigger finger over there and it's got the different hinges horizontal and vertical so a lot of that going on between these hands so you can get the right positions for you but we do get a trigger hand we get a finger pointing hand you know i am a sucker for the old pointing fingers absolutely love this i can just see cobra commander pointing around bossing people around things like that that's the perfect hand for that one we do get another fist of course you got to have matching fist and cobra commander not one really to uh, to resort to fisticuffs but if he needs to we got that here we got the splayed out hand looking really really nice once again no i can just see him screaming and yelling and doing that kind of stuff and then we get two uh semi open hands semi open a little bit of a grip here a little bit of a grip but mostly open so tons and tons of hands here for cobra commander absolutely love it choose your own hand adventure as we usually say we do get the binoculars here love the cobra insignia on here making them feel just a little bit better uh very cool got the the um, strap around here, I guess leather strap, whatever you want to call it, in black. And you can put this over his head, have this down around his uh, neck. But it's beautiful binoculars, spying on the Joes from up on the mountains, something like that. That's what this is for. So a nice accessory and an accessory that could work with other figures if you needed it to as well. And then we get down to a few different weapons here. We do got a big old assault rifle. We'll call it an assault rifle. Uh, nice blue color to it. Got the gray on the end. Nice cartoon dynamics to it. However, I don't remember Cobra Commander ever using a weapon like this. Uh, he usually had a little pistol here, but you know Cobra Commander. He was leading from the back. He wasn't a flint that leads from the front line. He led from hanging in the back. We all know that. But uh, definitely a good-looking weapon. Just one I don't really correlate in my head that Cobra Commander would be using somewhere. But I guess he's probably got an arsenal of weapons just in case. I'm sure he does. Uh, extra head we'll talk about here in a second, but we're not done with the weapons here. We do get a very more Cobra Commander style weapon here in Mets colors too. He's got the red and the blue attack, got the Cobra logo on it. Just a nice little pistol here, and I could see Cobra Commander wielding something like this. Got the nice silver on the end, but a very, very nice weapon once again. And then we get one very similar, but at the same time, very, very different. And as of right now, this is the leading gun for me that I'm going to use with my Cobra Commander. It's a nice all-blue sculpt here. Uh, it looks a little bit futuristic, looks a little bit laser-like, and of course that is on brand. But it does look good. It looks like something Cobra Commander would have. So another pistol right there for him. And then we get another really crazy weapon. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Very futuristic laser. Got a little screen kind of on there. It almost looks like a ship on a stand. Oh, is it a toy for Cobra Commander? You can 
fly this through. It almost looks like a Star Wars vehicle, but uh, some kind of a laser weapon of some kind. Uh, once again, I don't really recall this one. Maybe I missed it somewhere. It could be a super deep cut from the cartoon. That's the one fun thing about Super 7 is they get so many deep cuts from the cartoons, whatever property we're talking about. It's probably from an episode. Uh, I'm just not thinking of it off the top of my head. I'm guessing that's the case. Same thing over here. We got a couple of different uh, kind of remote controls. We got a little one. has a little lever, a little switch going on right there, a little detonator maybe. Uh, and then we got another one here with an antenna on it, a little Cobra uh, insignia and a button. You know, he's pushing a button, uh, detonate, bam, there it is. So I love stuff like this, just really helping build out some of your toy photography, things like that. But for me, not going to use those. I'm going to use a traditional weapon in Cobra Commander's hand on my shelf. That's the way I'm going to go. And then we get down to some other things here. We got a nice staff here. When I think of Cobra Commander, obviously we got a lot of looks of Cobra Commander over the years, but always my favorite look was this very regal looking Cobra Commander with the big cape going on. It is cape season, just ask Lando Calrissian. But I love that he would have a staff like this. Very much like something Serpentor would have, of course, after him. Uh, but very, very cool. I really, really do like this. The fangs on here are even sharp. When I pulled this out of the package, I basically uh, pricked my own fingers with this as it was very sharp fangs on here. So I guess I'd say be careful. But a nice gold staff across here. Very, very cool. Got the Cobra, once again, right on brand. Looking really good. You can see this in Serpentor's hand, like I said, as well. But just very, very cool looking accessory. And then the last one here is just awesome as well. And I think this was from the G.I. Joe game. I remember that G.I. Joe game disappointing me as a kid too. I, I liked it enough. I played it enough, but you just always wanted more. You'd see these cool commercials and cool things and you just kind of dreamed of the gameplay of today back then in the mid 80s, we'll call it late 80s. Uh, you wanted some cooler graphics. You wanted all that, but uh, you know, it just wasn't uh, panning out at the time, but the commercial for it, very cool. And him holding this snake, very cool, very on brand, holding the earth and a snake going around it. I should say a cobra going around it. Man, oh man, this just symbolizes Cobra, world domination efforts, all that kind of stuff. Just absolutely do love this. Love the snake on here. Just very, very cool accessory, especially after all these years. Now we turn our attention over to Cobra Commander, and I gotta say I'm excited. And we got a cape on him. Of course it is cape season, as we know. Lando Calrissian, not the only one celebrating, as Cobra Commander is here as well. But a beautiful, beautiful pink. Uh, it's more pink than red, I would say, in the cape department. But it is a wired cape. That was a big complaint of a lot of collectors for the Hasbro classified uh, Serpentor figure that it wasn't a wired cape. No complaints here as the cape is wired. Just absolutely cool. Absolutely do love this. And I believe we got a little bit of the power of magnets here. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, magnets. Oh my gosh. Is there anything better than magnets or maybe Velcro? I don't know. But the power of magnets compels me. How cool is that? This will keep on here. It's not going to fall off, but it is so easily removable. Just like so, if you want Cobra Commander, more of a regular plain Jane Cobra Commander that most people probably think of, you could take that cape right off there and you are off to the races with a very cool looking Cobra Commander. So I absolutely love this cape. Love the addition of that. That really dresses this figure up so much. And like I said, I have always loved the Cobra Commander cape look. Well, here it is for us. Now we got Cobra Commander. Let's dive in. Let's start with the two heads on this one. We might as well. Very similar, but very different. The second head here, uh, you both got the Cobra Commander faceplate going on. The stock one out of the package here. A little bit more silver, where this is a little bit more chrome-like. And then you got the stripe up the top on the one out of the package. No stripe up here. So depending how you think of Cobra Commander... Uh, there's both camps for that. I don't get too worked up about it, I guess. Uh, at the end of the day, if I just had one or the other, it wouldn't be at the end of the world to me. But I always do think of the stripe. You may be different. I think of the stripe on mine. But either way, beautiful heads here. It's Cobra Commander. Anybody hands you this, you know exactly who this is, that it is Cobra Commander. So I absolutely love that. Uh, and I just, I tell you what, it's just my, Cobra Commander. When I envision Cobra Commander, when I lay my head down at night and I close my eyes and I said, ah, oh, I wonder what Cobra Commander's doing. I think of this Cobra Commander. I think of him at a table, at a desk, writing a manuscript with his, with his uh, chin on his hand saying, here's what I'm going to do this time. Here's how I'm going to get a, get over on the Joe Boys. This is what I think of. This is exactly what I think of. Absolutely love this. We had classified G.I. Joe figures of Cobra Commander. Those were great figures as well. This beats it. This beats it for me. Obviously, scaling's a little bit different. We'll do comparisons of those later on in this video. But let's walk through the articulation first on this Cobra Commander figure here. Of course, the arms going all the way around. Very tight arms. I'm here for that. 
bicep cut, of course. Single jointed elbows, I know some people are against that. It does not bother me, as I always say with Super 7, because I'm not a toy photographer. I'm not playing with these. They're going up on my shelf. They're going to look good up there. I don't need all the extra articulation. I like the pinless joints that we get here, things like that. Pinless joints are a bigger uh, thing for me than articulation is. I know it's sacrilegious to some of you, but as we always say, you like what you like, you don't what you don't. I like both. I would love to have both, but I am okay with this. So there you got the single jointed right there. You do get the side to side like we're accustomed to as well. Hands going to be removable. Hands side to side. You do get an ab crunch here. I wouldn't say it's tight, but I wouldn't say it's loose either. It's, I guess, probably the perfect amount. Uh, sometimes it can be too loose, as we know. Sometimes it can be so tight it won't even break free. It's pretty much the perfect amount right there. Head all the way around, all the way back and forth. More down than up, but you get tons of movement, I think. Uh, movement that makes sense. You get all the movement that makes sense here for Cobra Commander. I see zero paint issues anywhere on this. I should also uh, say that. Just beautiful, beautiful. You do get waist articulation looking really nice. He can do those big old Cobra Commander splits if he needs to, if he needs to jump over Destro. Uh, some of those party games they play at the Cobra office from time to time. Uh, then you do get a knee that bends, of course, just single jointed uh, back and forth. You do get a nice up and then you get a little bit of back, but not tons and tons, once again. Uh, you do get ankles back and forth, side to side, and that's it for articulation. You get nice black shoes. Uh, you get the black kind of strap he was always famous for. Really good because it breaks up the monotony of the blue. Same with the shoes do. And then, of course, the forearm guards there in black. Hands gloved in black as well. You get that familiar Cobra Commander blue, and then you get an even more kind of a baby blue underneath, the shirt underneath there. You get the chrome dome in the face, the chrome on the neck. No hint of his face no hint of what's going on here it'll be interesting to see how deep this line goes for how long it goes how many different cobra commanders are we gonna get are we gonna get the hooded one will we finally get hooded cobra commander we'll see if that happens or python patrol Cap cobra commander could we get snake from the movie cobra commander man there's a lot of possibilities there's a lot of characters we would love in this line we'll be interested to see how it grows you do got two different belts on cobra commander one in black one in gray course sculpted in here they're not going anywhere they're not moving anywhere but boy oh boy they look really really nice i tell you this does not disappoint uh some of you guys will say it's not worth the two-year wait i understand it is frustrating but for me this is what i envisioned all those years ago in the 80s when joe's came out when i wanted the cartoon representation to jump off the screen into my playing hands this is what i wanted so I am more than happy with this Cobra Commander. We'll see how Duke goes. We'll see how Snake Eyes, and we have kind of know what the battle will go, but we'll unbox all those on the channel, so make sure you do subscribe. But I love it. I love it, guys. Maybe I'm biased. I don't know. Say what you want, but Joes were such a big part of my childhood. Getting it in hand here, really something else. Does he fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles, of course, but make sure you do get the Mattel stand. And he does fit on there. A little harder to get, but he does fit okay. So he fits on there if need be. I'm going to take him off because we're going to do some height comparisons. And that's what people want to know. How does this scale? Can I move this in with my G.I. Joe Classified figures? I don't think that will be the case. Uh, but I do got a little G.I. Joe Classified right here. I do got that exclusive Supreme Cobra Commander. Very close to this. You get the cape. A look I really, really wanted. Just not quite in the iconic, iconic look like we get right here. But you can see that right here. Even on a stand, and I guess I'll take him off the stand. Uh, you can see how much bigger the Super 7 is than the G.I. Joe classified figure. So you can definitely see that height difference here. But boy, oh boy, I think there's no doubt in my mind when people close their eyes think Cobra Commander, they think this one more than this one. And also this one here, this is another exclusive Cobra Commander we had. A little closer to the color pattern, just not quite the same look. And we know the Classified series lost its way a little bit at the beginning. Now it's really settled into a bit of a groove. I'm sure we're going to get more Cobra Commanders from them in the future. I mean, kind of see how these guys scale compared to that. And then uh, how about the Cobra Bat? Now, this is the one we unboxed, gosh, six months ago here on the channel. This was, uh, I believe, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive last summer. Uh, there it is right there. So you can see the difference. And the Cobra Bat should be bigger than Cobra Commander, and we do see that right here. Cobra Commander was always kind of a swarmy, uh, snake-like guy, no pun intended. So makes sense. He's a little bit littler than the Bat. I think that does work out scale-wise. And then I did grab a few other Super 7 figures, so you can just kind of compare a little bit. How about a little lion -O action? There he is next to the Super 7 Thundercats lion -O, of course. So you can see that height difference. And then we continue on. How about recently unboxing another line 
that really surprised me how much I liked it was the Power Rangers Super 7 line. I really did like that line. And you can kind of see that difference here. So that's really interesting as Cobra Commander is taller than uh, the Green Ranger here. But the Green Ranger at the time, I guess, do we consider him a high school student? So I think that makes sense scale-wise to me. He's a high school student. This is a adult man, snake, whatever he is, from Cobra Law, of course, as we know. So you can kind of see that difference there. Cobra Commander is definitely taller than Tommy. And then the final one, how about the wrestling scaling here? I don't know. I don't know. Is uh, Matt Cardona, he's probably about 6'1". I've met Matt before. He's about the same size as me. I'm 6'1". He might be 6'2 or so. Uh, so that's kind of a, a comparable, I think, there. Cobra Commander, I don't know. I don't know. It's close enough for me to work there. But at the end of the day, I know I absolutely love this Cobra Commander. It is what I wanted. And I can see a lot of people that aren't all in on this line, but want representation of 80s key characters. They want the Optimus Prime. They want Cobra Commander. They maybe want Duke. Of course, they're going to want Flint. We all know that. But they're going to want representation of some key characters like He-Man and things along those lines. I could see people picking up this one just to have on their office spot at work. Things like that. And that makes a lot of sense. Then you got the hardcore Joe collectors. They're going to want everybody out of this line. That is me, especially the cartoon representation. This is what I've been waiting for. I've said it numerous times, but I've been waiting for this since I was five years old. So, of course, I'm excited to get this. So... My verdict here, it blew it out of the water. I hated the delay, but uh, I guess good things happen to those that wait, and that's how I feel about this Cobra Commander. We'll see how the rest of the line goes, but this one, my first impression, is a good one. This is a must-have pickup, and I look to this to be one of my top figures of 2023. Uh, that's how much I'm in love with this Cobra Commander. So there it is, but what say you? A little bit of a long video here, but we had to go good in the first one. The other ones will be a little bit faster, I am sure. But let me know in the comments your thoughts on this Cobra Commander figure. You picking it up? You passing? You interested? You waiting for a deal? Well, you can get the deal at Entertainment Earth. Like I did say, use discount code Kyle. You can save 10% right now, right now. Hot off the truck over there. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on Cobra Commander in the Super 7 Ultimate Series 1 and your thoughts if you're picking them up or passing. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got videos every single day and then some. And we got even more videos for you on the Patreon channel, including early access to videos like this, bonus videos, Q&A, you name it. A lot going on over at the Patreon. It does support content like this, of course. And you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget about social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Cobra Commander, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.